how to get a background check in this video we're gonna go over options the public has to get uh, a background check completed on just about anybody so if you go to sheriffsdepartment.net we have resources for all 50 states uh, and uh, I'm gonna go over how uh, typically you can run a background check using state and county resources so let's uh, let's use Georgia and um, what you have an option uh, one of your first options is to do a nationwide check this is an instant search um, it gives you public records criminal records it looks at private databases for previous addresses for cell phone information social media some deep web type of information it's an instant check it'll show you if it will let you know if it has anything and then if you want to proceed uh, to get the complete document it's going to be up to you to do that uh, at the state level you have things like court records recorders office criminal records driving records business lookup sexual offender registry uh, arrest jail information uh, property records you could use property records to find somebody's mailing address uh, if they own a property in a particular county um, uh, let's look at the uh, essential things when it comes to background checks uh, so court records and um, Georgia has a oh, and uh, criminal records so Georgia has a, a very easy system uh, when it comes to do a statewide check but it looks like it only lets you check felony records so maybe these are higher end crimes and uh, but they make it really quick it's just a name a date of birth and then you just pay 15 bucks and it gives you a report on anybody within the state keep in mind people do move around people travel so they might have uh, criminal records in within another state so e either do a nationwide check uh, or some variation of a nationwide check or figure out like uh, uh, previous addresses of the individual that you're running the background check on uh, another thing is criminal or uh, is our court records and court records are not just going to show you felonies they're going to show you also lower level crimes they're going to look at civil information evictions all sorts of things lawsuits uh, so anytime somebody gets arrested they go see a judge um, a court record is created and as soon as a court record is created it becomes a public record in some situations they don't show everything but generally for most people unless it's um, it's some kind of a court case that's on TV with a lot of eyeballs they, they typically most of the information is available and the public has access to these records so court records are, are also a crucial part of looking up somebody's uh, background check information uh, you have also things like recorder's office, driving records, depending on what the background check is for. You can check uh, some. You can look up if somebody uh, has a professional license to make sure everything is legit with the state, if they're a contractor or whatever it may be. Uh, sexual offender registry. Uh, so there are all sorts of databases that you can check to have a more and more complete type of a background check and what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description for sheriffsdepartment.net and uh, you can also just type sheriffsdepartment.net in your browser come on down look at the resources available in your state or maybe multiple states for background checks we also have special pages for criminal records courts where we go into more details um, in each of these categories inmate search vital information and warrants so uh, come on down or click the link in the description and uh, uh, learn how to uh, get a background check in your state or in your county. Thanks.